Have you ever come across this simple yet surprisingly tricky physics question? It involves weights, pulleys, and a spring scale, and it confuses almost everyone. Today, let's break it down clearly and make sense of it. So here's our setup. We've got two sets of 100 Newton weights, each hanging from opposite sides of a spring scale through pulleys at the table's edge. Here's the puzzling question. What will the spring scale read when there's a total of 200 Newtons pulling on it? To answer this clearly, Let's simplify it into three easy-to-understand scenarios. First scenario, if we hang just a single 100 Newton weight directly from the spring scale, it obviously reads exactly 100 Newtons. Pretty straightforward, right? Second scenario, let's add a pulley into the setup. Even though the pulley redirects the direction of the force, the scale still reads exactly 100 Newtons. Why? Because the pulley doesn't add force. It simply changes the direction of the existing force to keep the scale horizontal. Now, in the first scenario, the net force acting on the system is zero. The 100 Newton weight pulling downward is perfectly balanced by the spring scale pulling upward. Similarly, in the pulley setup, the net force is also zero. However, the key to understanding this lies in the anchor point or bracket. The bracket provides an equal and opposite force to balance the weight ensuring the entire system remains in equilibrium. Imagine if you removed the bracket or anchor point. The weight would immediately drop, and the scale would read zero since there's no longer a balancing force. Now, let's consider our final setup. Imagine replacing one of the hanging weights with a fixed anchor, such as a wall or solid bracket. As we've seen before, the spring scale would still read 100 newtons, because the anchor provides the exact balancing force needed. If we then replace that fixed anchor with an identical 100 Newton weight, the scale reading doesn't change. Instead of the anchor supplying the balancing force, now the weight on the opposite side provides that force. This clearly illustrates the main point. The spring scale doesn't measure the total weight of the system. It only measures the direct tension or force at its contact point. Therefore, even though the total system has 200 Newtons of weight, the scale still only feels and measures 100 newtons. If you liked this video, hit that subscribe button for more explanations of the world around us. Thanks for watching.